Hear that love dub? It's the sound of my heart pumping blood to my whole body. It's going a little faster than normal right now, and I'm kind of in a hurry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, something that's near and dear to all our hearts, I give you what? Blood and Circulation! Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye. Inertia is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. Blood and circulation. Brought to your brains by arteries. Taken away by veins. Good night, Bill. Good night, See you science guy. See you tomorrow, Bill. Good night, you guys. I'm gonna work some more on blood and circulation. It is really interesting. Fascinating topic. Really, really cool. I'm just gonna rest my eyes for a minute. Where am I? Oh, it's the uh, door to the lab. Bloodstream. I'm in a vein or something. This is weird. Whoa. What's he doing here? I can hear the heart. It's beating. There's white blood cells. That's a germ. Get him! <laughs> weird. Whoa. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm in the heart. Those are red blood cells. Your heart beats your whole life, you know. Uh, 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 red hey, hey, everybody, it's 708 in the city. Time to lean forward, get out of your chair, oh. jump over your desk, and get your heart pumping. I gotta get to it's work. 37 degrees Celsius throughout the body. Hi. Hi. Your heart beats, and it pumps blood Cut. all through no, your no, body. No, 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 Bill, you gotta relax. Just calm oh, down, man, okay? Let's sorry. do it again. The weirdest dream. Your heart. Cut. Okay, just relax. Deep breath. Will you relax? Let's do this again. Hi. Today, Cut. we're gonna talk blood. Your heart is beating too fast. Now just relax. Okay, again. <laughs> Cut. Bill, just relax, will you? Your heart beats, and that pumps blood through your whole body. Cut. I guess I'm still. Where'd we get this guy? People, work with me here. Your heart pumps your blood through your whole body, all day, all the time, your whole life. Your heart's about as big as your fist. Lub, dub, lub, dub. The lub, well, that's the big push. And the dub, that's the reloading push. Now, a heart in a guy my size pumps enough blood every day to fill over 30 oil drums. Isn't that amazing? I mean, blood vessels near your heart are big, like highways. As the blood goes away from your heart, it ends up on smaller and smaller blood vessels, like streets. Now, every cell in your body sits next to a very small blood vessel called a capillary. And a capillary is like a driveway. And the cells are like houses. Hello, is anybody home? Hello? Now, the blood brings nutrients and oxygen to every cell, and every cell puts waste products like carbon dioxide back into the bloodstream. <sighs> Your blood is pumped all over your body, all day, all the time, your whole life. Now that is amazing. Yes! So did we get it? Yo, science guy, you threw my shirt yet? Yeah, here you are, Mr. Sinbad. All right, cool. 
So the long, cellulose from cotton fibers are made pliable by applying energy to the creases, huh? That's right. Kind of an old <laughs> trick. Yeah. Well, you you pumped up for the show? Yeah, I'm pumped, man. Just like my heart pumping that blood, man, getting ready for a big math test. <sighs> well, you ready to rehearse? Let's do it. Love a dub dub. Thanks for the blood. Yay! Heart! <laughs> <laughs> love great. a dub. Yeah, that's funny, it. man. Matter I'm fact, loving why it. Why don't you pop up these pants for me real quick? Oh, sure. And yeah. uh, get this shirt, all right? Yeah, sure, cool, Mr. Man. Sinbad. Hey, man, you missed your call. You'll do clothes, man. Also, if you get some spots off the carpet, I'd like to talk about that. Well, that's dub. just a uh, yeah, <laughs> love dub. Soda water. Uh, you know, it's got carbon dioxide, which will. Hey, did you ever want to see your blood going through your veins? Well, you won't actually see your blood, but you'll know it's there because you can see a pulse. Here's what you do. Take a straw and a pair of scissors. Make a slit in the end and stick the straw to a soft drink bottle cap. Then put your arm on a table and put your new pulse meter on a vein. Try to find a really big vein, like on the inside of your elbow, because that works the best. Look, every time your heart pumps, the straw moves back and forth. Wild! You can impress your friends. See if they have a pulse. Oh. Huh? Now, here is your heart. Your heart, busily at work night and day, is the pump that keeps the bloodstream flowing through your body. Yes, it's your blood that carries the food to your bones and makes them strong. Science. Our bloodstream is kind of like a river, a river that's 100,000 kilometers long. It would stretch two and a half times around the Earth. Stay alive, our bodies use blood to carry food, oxygen, and waste. Shh. It's not me. It's my foot. It's asleep. Then uncross your leg. Your feet fall asleep when your blood vessels and nerves get squeezed. This can happen when you sit cross-legged for a really long time, or your foot is in just some weird position. Same thing can happen to your arms, especially when you sleep funny. So keep your feet on the ground. I can't help it. I'm hungry, too. Hear that? It's the sound of a heartbeat. People say it goes lub dub. But it's probably the same people that say a dog goes bow wow. I mean, to me, a dog is much more of a. Down go. Anyway, this is a pump, just like your heart. It's the plastic water pump of science. Now notice that as I pump, this small valve is opening and closing. When the piston goes up, the valve is closed. When the piston comes down, the valve is open. See? This is our rubber balloon heart model pump of science. Now, just like your own heart, it has a left side and a right side. When the right side squeezes, it sends blood around to your lungs. That's where it gets oxygen and turns red. From there, it goes to the left side. Now, when the left side squeezes, it sends blood to all the other parts of your body. When it comes back from those, it's on the right side again. Now, whenever one side squeezes, one valve has to open and the other valve has to stay closed. Otherwise, the pump won't work. Now, the lub dub, well, the lub, that's the strong push. And the dub, that's the reloading push. So, lub, dub, pow, wow, arf, arf. Yay! <clears throat> Thank you for joining me on Consider the Following. Bad science guy, no biscuit. In your blood vessels, you have two kinds of blood cells. You have red blood cells and white blood cells. Kind of like these two kinds of grape juice. We have about 25 trillion red blood cells. And for every thousand red blood cells, there's only about one white blood cell. That's about 25 billion. And together, they keep us strong and healthy. So, here's to your health. You want some? Mm -hmm. It's good, really. Mm. It is good. The grape juice is more of an illustration, you know, than actual blood. I mean, it's sort of a joke. 
And, and so is Chris, the rubber person. It's sort of a gag that we were going for. Roger, let's roar. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Cough. What you gonna do? In your bloodstream. Yeah, we're wet blood cells. We're like cops in a bloodstream. Attention all units. Attention all units. Infection in progress at Spleen Center. Roger. Let's roll. Freeze, toxic punk! You have the right to remain dormant. Anything you infect can and will react to you. There are a lot of us cruising around the arteries and the veins, but it's on a night like tonight when you make a difference. When you stop an infection and prevent some germ from spreading disease, well, that's when it makes you feel real good to be a white blood cell. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come? Cops, in your bloodstream. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come? Did you know that? Each day, your body makes 200 billion new red blood cells. White blood cells live for two weeks, and red blood cells live for four months. Now you know! This is about how much blood's in your body. About five liters. This is how much of it is white blood cells. About five milliliters. This is how much you give when you donate blood. About half a liter. Your heart pumps the same liters all through your body over 100,000 times a day. Wild! Bill, what does this paper towel have to do with your body? Hmm, they both have capillaries, right? Right. Capillaries are very small passageways that allow liquids to move through them. So if you dip the paper towel in some colored water, you can see how the capillaries in the paper towel draw the liquid up through them. Capillaries are vessels that connect arteries to veins. They're so small that blood cells have to travel single file through them. Of course, real red blood cells look a lot more like this jelly donut than this red water balloon. Uh, Bill, I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, you're right. Well, you want one? Sure, thank you. Blood pressure. You probably had your blood pressure taken before, right? Well, here's what we do. We wrap a cuff around our arm and squeeze our arteries and veins. Then we see how much our arteries and veins push back, and that's our blood pressure. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pump this up so we get a snug squeeze on our upper arm. Now the loudest sound that he'll hear, that's my lub, that's my big squeeze. Then the lowest sound he'll hear is the dub, when the heart's kind of reloading. Lub and dub. Ha! <laughs> I'm lubbing it. Okay, you got 112 over 74. 112 over 74. So 112, that's my lub, my big push. 74, that's my dub, my, my reloading. Lub, dub. When you're watching TV, it takes blood 35 to 40 seconds to make one complete trip through your body. When you're exercising, it takes blood only 10 seconds to make the same trip. Now you know! That's what makes your veins swell up, see that? That's my vein. This is cleaning stuff. Cleaning stuff? No. It's iodine. Make your face clean. Yes, ma'am. That didn't really hurt. It was nothing. Look, I'm giving a half liter of blood. But don't worry, I can afford it. I'll be making plenty more blood cells over the next few days. You know, giving blood is no problem. I mean, it doesn't hurt or anything. It's kind of wild. I mean, you're taking cells out of your body that are still alive and giving them to somebody else. It's pretty cool. What would happen if you cut the bottom of a foam cup out and put the cup against a friend's chest? right where the ribs come together. Hey, be quiet, okay? Cool, I can hear her heartbeat. She's still alive. Oh, thanks, like I was really worried. Sheesh. Your heart pumps blood all around your body through three types of blood vessels. Arteries take blood away from your heart, veins bring it back, 
and capillaries connect the two. There you are. Thank you. After you give blood, they give you juice and cookies so that your body has enough fluids and sugar so that you feel good. Also, they won't let you ride a motorcycle for 12 hours. Oh, well. It's good juice, though. I'm gonna get some apple juice. Whoa. I feel dizzy. That's because while you were on the floor, your heart rate was slow. You didn't need to pump blood very fast. And when you got up fast, your blood didn't keep up with your head. It wasn't getting to your brain fast enough. You should be a doctor. Yeah, I know. When you're resting, your heart beats about 70 times a minute. <sighs> when you're exercising, your heart might beat twice that fast, 140 times a minute, to keep up with your muscles' oxygen demands. That's one of the things that blood does. <sighs> it brings oxygen to your muscles. Your heart weighs about 300 grams. That's about as much as an apple. It pumps 7,000 liters a day. Every day, isn't that wild? Sounds like a lot of work. The stronger your heart is, the better it can keep your blood moving. Your heart is a special muscle that can be made stronger by exercise. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, about that apple. Exercising, eating a low-fat diet, and not getting hooked on cigarettes can help keep your heart strong and keep your arteries from getting clogged with fat. Because if you're not going to eat it, well, I was thinking, you know, oh, coconut, that's a pretty neat trick. But, you know, I think I'd really like an apple. Oh, thanks. To take a pulse is very simple. You just take two fingers like this. And you do it for a minute and you count every time it beats. And I got 81, 71, 77, 78, 75. One, two, ready, go. My heart's really pumping. Mine's gonna explode. Mine's pumping. I got 128, 153, 145, 156, I got 140. Science! See, I just stood up. And as you stand up, the blood that's in your head can end up flowing down into your body. Put this wacky harness on. You go up, the blood goes down. I'm gonna tell you that this harness fits tight. No, tight. That's the word I'm going for here. How's that feel? Make it? Feels great. So, suppose you're in a plane. Roger, eight zero one. Have a good flight. And you do a maneuver like this. The plane's going up. Your head's going up, but the blood kind of stays still, so it goes down. Down. So what we do, check this out. We inflate these balloons right here. Tight. These are air bladders, right there. Right here. This is called a G suit when you pull G's. So as we go up, our blood will want to stay still and our body's going to want to go up and so our brain won't be getting enough blood. Our heart will not be able to pump enough blood into our brain. So we inflate these air bladders and that holds the blood in here and keeps blood pumping to your brain so you can stay alert. Pretty cool. My heart was pumping, keeping blood in my brain and we made it back okay. Did you know that? Blood cells are made in your bones. During your lifetime, your heart will beat about two billion times. Now you know! This is a valentine. This is a heart, a muscle that can be made stronger through exercise. Valentine, heart.
You're in a blood vessel by the side of a vein that means you're right in the middle of the bloodstream. Bloodstream, yeah, yeah. Our hearts pump blood through our veins, circulating red cells and white cells through our uh, 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 I got me a heart, it's popping uh, away. Uh, it just keeps on going to keep uh, me alive. Uh, it's got four chambers, they all uh, work together. Uh, it's a very strong muscle, so I exercise. Well, the bloodstream is a very warm place that keeps us together. Bloodstream, baby. Bloodstream, baby. Your heart sounds great. Love, love. It's doing love, love. important work. Love, love. Pumping love, love. blood through your veins love, love. and arteries. Love, love. Love, well, love. that's our show. I'd say this operation was a success. Keep on loving and dubbing. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Your heart pumps the same liters all through your body over $100,000 a day. Wild! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now? <laughs> this is about how much blood's in your body. About five inches. Each liter. This is about your blood in your body. About five liters. This is about, of it is, white blood cells. About five milliliters. This is how about you give messed up. Your heart pumps the same liters all through your body over 100,000 times a day. Wild! Yes!